Travel expert Caroline Cotton is back with us this morning. Caroline has over 37 years experience as a travel expert. Last month she went over some summer travel tips with us. This morning she's going to talk about all-inclusive resorts and tours. Caroline, thank you for being back on this month. You're welcome. Thank you, Jenna. Good morning. Now, Caroline, what does the term all-inclusive mean when it comes to travel? Well, there's different all-inclusives, but it's, it's pretty much what it says. It, it includes everything. Mm -hmm. But what a lot of people don't understand is there's different types of all-inclusives. There's a resort, for instance, that you can go stay at for a week, which is all-inclusive. It includes all of your meals, all of your beverages, all of your adult beverages. Um, but it doesn't include your airfare ticket. So it looks like a really good deal because it's only $300 for a week, but then it costs another $400 to get there. Mm -hmm. So, so that people need to really check what is included in an all-inclusive trip. Um, actually, a cruise line is an all-inclusive trip unless you have to fly to where the cruise ship takes off. Some mm -hmm. of them don't take off um, out of Miami. They, have, they take out of uh, Puerto Rico. So there again is another $400 ticket to get on this all-inclusive trip on the cruise lines. Of course, another thing when folks see these discounted rates for cruise lines is that a cruise ship does not include adult beverages, which sometimes people don't understand how much that adds up to and mm -hmm. all of the taxes. And they'll see, oh, well, there's a cruise for $300. Well, it doesn't include your port charge of 90 your... Um, the cruise fee of eighty dollars, so there's a you know almost two hundred dollars extra per person. Mm -hmm. So the things about all inclusive is sometimes they really aren't all inclusive. So you mm -hmm. really need to have a travel professional or really do your homework and see what exactly is included because what looks like a three hundred dollar trip may end up literally being a thousand dollars per person. Okay, and now Caroline, is that something that you can look into before they book their trips too? You can find out all the prices that aren't included that's in right. the all-inclusive That's right, and that's package. what I usually tell people. I say mm -hmm. this trip is $950 because you have a $500 resort fee, mm -hmm. a $400 airfare. But during the summer, especially around June, we start seeing discounted rates like down to the Dominican Republic and to Jamaica, which really are like $450, including your airfare. Wow. But it's usually during hurricane time, they're mm -hmm. off-season, which is when they do the discounts. But mm -hmm. you normally don't see those until four to eight weeks prior. Okay. And now are there any, like, family all-inclusive resorts and tours yes, taking place? Yes, there's different types. Summer? And, and what's getting to be very popular is uh, the weddings mm -hmm. because, and the whole family flies. So you've got the family part of the resort. They include the wedding services. You pay for them, of course. But the, the marriage license, they perform the ceremony. The family's there, they all get a vacation, and it's no muss, no fuss as far as, you know, having to deal with your in-town relatives and all of that. So that's becoming very popular. There's in, uh, resorts that are just for families only. Mm -hmm. There's resorts that are just for couples only, which mm -hmm. is nice when you don't feel like having kids around. Um, there's resorts that um, cater to corporations, and mm -hmm. it's a really good tool to take your company so that they get a couple days at least of pleasure and um, then you can have corporate meetings there as well. Okay. Now it's April right now. Do you feel that it's too late for families who want to take one of these all-inclusive tours over the summer? Well, um, it's, it's, it kind of is, but then like I said before, if you wait, if, mm -hmm. you, if, you're, if you're flexible, mm -hmm. if you're flexible, no, it's not too late at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, if it was me and I was personally taking a trip in, in August to one of the down south in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. I would wait until like June mm -hmm. because that's when you see the real good bargains. Mm -hmm. If you're the kind of person that only has a certain date and you have to really stick to a regimen and schedule, then you should be working on it now. Okay. Is there any trip really hot right now that people need to jump on? Um, there are some good cruise line deals. There's some airline, um, buy one and get a companion free at uh, Southwest Airlines. and I, That's a limited time only. Um, there's a special deal with uh, Carnival Cruise Lines like I spoke with you about earlier. And, and that's been in the news so much lately. Um, but because of that, they've lost so much revenue that mm -hmm. you're going to see some really good deals on Carnival if you want to take that chance. Okay. Well, if you have any questions about any of this, you can contact Caroline. Caroline, what are you going to be focusing on with us next month? 
I thought we might talk about off the rock, like a four night weekend, where to go if we're here in Key West and we just want to go somewhere for a long weekend, maybe New York, maybe Las Vegas, maybe jet over to the Bahamas. We'll do like three or four. How about that? I love it. Yeah, that and sounds some, great. And sometimes isn't that exactly what you need here in Key West? Just like a couple days. Yes. Just a couple days get away. Yeah, uh -huh. just get off the rock, mm -hmm. you know, all the way to Key Largo maybe. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> we'll go a little further than that. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Caroline, You're for welcome. being back on. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after these messages.